good morning. It's uh, it is. It's a lovely Sunday morning. It's just after nine o'clock. Not many people around. I've come for a little walk. Um, this isn't very far from my home. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the walk as I'm going along. Um, the little river or little um, beck behind me uh, is a tributary from the river Calder. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a little walk up to the River Calder now and you can see how big it is. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little bit of history of it. I'll try and make it a bit more interesting. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, okay, then this is the River Calder. And it is the main river that runs through Wakefield, which is where I live. Um, and uh, you can see that's going down towards the city there. This river actually runs, as I'm panning round from left to right, it starts off up in the Pennines, it runs through all the little pretty Pennine villages like Hebton Bridge, uh, places like that, comes down through the hills, through Wakefield, ends up in Castleford, and at Castleford it joins the River Air, and the River Air eventually joins the River Humber, and then it goes into the sea on the east coast. Um, so that's basically how this river goes. Sandal Castle. Uh, I don't know if you see that green field immediately in front of us. That was where I was stood a little bit earlier and just probably beyond that you can just see the river uh, that I showed you earlier on. And there is Pugney's Lake. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see that there are two lakes there. Just one off to the side there. The main one is the one with the boating and everything and the little one is the nature reserve. It's a beautiful day today, um, really over in the distance, right, right over in the distance on the horizon there, and uh, forgive me if this actually distorts the picture a little bit, but maybe you can see it a little bit better now, um, is um, Emily, um, Emily Tower, uh, and that's actually uh, one of the largest man-made structures in Europe. Um, for telecommunication anyway, it's where we get all our television signals from and it's on Emily Moore, Emily Moore Mast it's actually called uh, and uh, it, it, you can see it for absolutely miles and miles around so you can still tell I'm out of breath and walking up all the stairs I'll actually just show you what I've just walked up and then you can uh, maybe get an idea about that uh, yes quite a few steps and I've got all those to go down now and um, so I'll see you down at the bottom well as you can see there really isn't very much left of Sandal Castle this is about as much as there is and uh, I'm still out of breath just walked down all those stairs and, and this is where I was I was up there and I just walked down from up there um, still see Pugnies over in the distance there um, and there uh, is the bit of Sandal Castle that's left. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this area because uh, I think it's really interesting. Um, 
During the 19th century in this country, in England, there was an industrial revolution. And uh, during that industrial revolution, uh, lots of things um, were developed. Um, trains, railway lines, um, using uh, canals for a form of transportation. And in this area, textiles and coal were the main exports. And the trains and the canals and the rivers were used to transport those vital products to other parts of the country. And, and so this area was vastly important during the Industrial Revolution and that we still got so much of that history here. Uh, and people do overlook that history sometimes. Um, the river that I showed you earlier on, the River Calder, was really important. It, it flowed right the way through West Yorkshire and uh, went through some major towns. Um, picking up things like coal and, and uh, wool um, to go to the textile factories and then on to uh, production factories and then obviously on to uh, where they could be sold to people. So it is a huge area of importance uh, and um, I am really proud to have come from this area.